to ensure the two component inks cross-link properly and adhere on difficult substrates. Hardeners have to be added to the inks before printing. When working with two component ink systems, there are some do's and some don'ts. Let's look at them together in this video. You always need hardeners if you use two component inks, otherwise your ink won't cross-link properly. Before you start to use hardeners, always put on your safety glasses and gloves. Hardeners always react with your surrounding atmosphere, therefore they should never be left open after using. After some time, your ink will eventually look like this. Check your technical data sheet to see how much hardener you should add to your ink system. Every ink is different, so check it carefully. It is important to mix your ink and hardener correctly. Here is a comparison. We were asking two colleagues to mix white and black ink with closed eyes to get a consistent grey. But why? Because you can't see hardener in your ink either. And this is the result. The one on the right side isn't mixed very well, while the one on the left side is mixed perfectly. So keep in mind to stir your ink and hardener for quite a while before using it. Give the ink a pre-reaction time before printing and this way the hardener can form an ideal bond with the ink. Adding the hardener before any other additives is important because it ensures a proper bond between the ink and the hardener. Not every ink needs to be cured in the oven. However, additional post-curing and elevated temperatures will increase the general performance of your product.